So um, I was listening to uh, the OG podcast. Jeff Teague was on there. First of all, Jeff Teague is like one of the funniest podcasts uh, out of the, all the, uh, the NBA players. He's hilarious, man. Great story. So they had to get him on this one. And he gave us a lot of content, man. So we're going to cover a couple of things he said, man. Uh, this is the first one uh, with, as, as far as dealing with LeBron, Kevin Durant, and Super Teams. That's stuck in our head. That's stuck in our head the whole season. So next year, they got what they wanted. They got number one <laughs> seed, and we had number two. And they got home court. And we made it personal because we had just remembered that they were saying that it made it seem like the only reason we won because we had home court. If, if we would have had home court, we would have won. Next year, we get home court, we're going to win. Okay, now y'all got home court. Now what y'all going to do? Y'all team was cheating, though. <laughs> Let's keep it real. No, I remember when Bron came to Miami. <clears throat> the, everybody was like, oh, this is week. I ain't going to lie, this is week. I don't. I didn't give a fuck. I was in my what, third year. I was like, I don't care. I just want to hoop. I'm trying to get paid. <laughs> but I hear, I remember Joe. I was at Joe Johnson's house, and he was just like, why would they do this? <laughs> he was like, that's weak, man. Bro, I ain't weak for that. Then when I got older, and I seen KD do it. And I was like, why would the <laughs> he do this? <laughs> like, that's weak. But when y'all came together, that it was crazy, and I thought you was leaving. I was hyped as hell. I was gonna leave. I was, I was hyped. I'm like, they ain't got the glue. I was. Yeah, they ain't got nobody. They ain't had no money. I know because of him. But you got it back. See how I get blamed for everything. Him. But you always get blamed for getting the money, and I walk away. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. He, he, he still get the him. money, man. Oh yeah, he do. He <laughs> what I, what I would say about that team is we all had to go through a process of nobody want to step on each other's toes. Yeah, everybody want to make everybody feel comfortable. We had that um that training camp on the army base. I think that's when that. Braun went at D-Wade, D-Wade went at Braun, I went at CB, everybody went at each other. And I think that kind of helped smooth it out. Cause I really hate each other then though. Cause they had that on TV. They had that on TV. I was watching, I was like, damn. Bro, it looked like, remember going. the Titans, bro. When they went yeah, to I ain't gonna camp. say I hated y'all. I hated Norris Cole and Mario Chalmers. Cause I was like, damn. And I think Pat Bev was yeah, there. Yeah, Pat Bev was I there. was like, they lucky to know money. <laughs> like, damn. But I didn't know, like be honest, the real on them, they job was probably harder. Oh. D-Wade said this to me uh, not too long ago. He said, I didn't realize how hard your job was. Mm -hmm. A guy that comes into the game and not knowing how many shots or where he going to get his shots from, but yeah. you got to be ready. He's like, I never really thought about how hard it was to be in your position. He's like, me, I know I'm going to get my shots. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get whatever I want. I'm going to do whatever I want. He's like, I never thought about how hard it is for a guy that don't know where their shots coming from, don't know when they're going to get them, to still be ready. Like, I thought about it the other day. He's like, that can't be the most messed up part of So starting with Eric and Chris, man, uh, <clears throat> super teams. Whether it's LeBron forming it in Miami or Kevin Durant going to the Golden State Warriors and forming a super team, uh, do you agree with Jeff T where he said it was cheating? Or do you think it's fair game or do you think it's something else? Like what what word would you attach to a player of LeBron and KD's caliber who was one and two in a lot of people's mind in the entire league jumping on the super team? Honestly, man, I, I think it was just weak, bro. It was weak. You would you would never have Jordan and Larry Bird get on the same team together. You, no. you, would build, you would build a team around your elite player, and your elite player would play elite, <laughs> which would cause you as as a as a franchise to make a superstar player. I mean, that's just the era I came from. Now this is a more uh all friends league where you know you can just join any team and try to get a ring or try to create a super team. I mean, that's just the way the league has went. Um, when KD went to Golden State, I thought that was the weakest move ever because KD with uh, – what's my man name he had on OKC with him? Russ. Westbrook. Westbrook. With Westbrook, they really they really, they really, really should have won that series. It was up 3-1. It was up 3-1. Yeah, sure. Right. So, like, I, and then the way they treated him once he got there, after they won the championship – the way they treated him once he got there, I mean, it just goes to pro, that, bro. That's just just kind of a weak move, man. But it's the it's the way we're moving as a as the league is moving. Yeah, you're right, man. They did treat him like trash, man. It, it, it was almost like a dude, you know, uh, going out of town and meeting this girl and telling her all these sweet nothings and be like, man, won't you move back to Cali with me, man? Come back to the crib, and then you convince her to leave her man, and then you show up. She show up, and she a sister wife. You got you got two other wives waiting on her. Hey, <laughs> that's hey, hey. That's what hey, happened to Kevin Durant. He showed up and it was like, oh man. Hey, that was like the Love is Blind series. Hey, it was like <laughs> it was like to the altar. And, 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 and the Golden State was like, nah, I ain't gonna, I'm not the person I need to be yet. 
I ain't, I ain't quite there yet. Yeah, I ain't ready. I ain't ready. <laughs> Oh man, it's but nah, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you on that. I, I like what you said uh, at the beginning when you said the way the normal way it goes is a superstar player has a regular team built around him right. of a, a co star and role players, and then another superstar player has the same thing a co star and role players, and we just see which superstar can carry that team the furthest. But you know, when, when you're saying, Hey, the superstar I'm supposed to compete, compete, compete against. I'm going to join him and then I'm going to grab another superstar as well that I was supposed to be competing with. And we all three go join and we're not competing. We're on the same squad. And then we go act like that, you know, uh, whatever I achieve is just as good as what Michael Jordan achieved. I think that's, I think that's fraud. Hey, good look. Now you got the splash brothers. You got, you know, it's, it's just, everybody's teamed up. You know, it's the splash brothers. It's, you know, it's, it's a community basketball right now. It's not individual <laughs> basketball. Community <laughs> AD and LeBron, like one yeah. and two. It's not. It's not just. This is the guy. Moneyball said Jordan always had the best three point shooters on his team. I don't what? even know what that means. Like, if Craig Hodges is the best three point shooter and he plays t- uh, ten minutes a game, how does that help? Like, That's if probably, it, you took the words right out of my mouth, like, okay, he had the best three point shooters. If you want to call Craig Hodges, Steve Kerr, uh, who else? Paxson. Paxson was a shooter. But yeah, he was all right. He was all right. Um, but they, they their shot attempts and limited play completely he nullified them. Yeah, yeah. Nobody even cared about that. We didn't, we didn't, care. Care. We didn't care about them. Who Steve cared? Kerr, Steve Kerr couldn't even get off the bench in Cleveland behind Mark Price and Terrell Brandon. Exactly. Come on, man. They was like, who? We were like Craig Hodges. Somebody go ahead, Chris. So oh you money ball, I know. Hold on, sorry, Chris. Money ball, I, I know what type, I know, I know what you are. Go ahead. <laughs> he said on strong was the leading thing. <laughs> I know what you are. Go ahead. Oh man, that's so, funny. Oh, Chris, go ahead and, and my brother, I apologize for interrupting you for that. I know what you are, Moneyball. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, no, you, you good, though. Go um, go we got you on the timer, Chris. Don't worry about it. So, <laughs> I'm actually going to call it fair game. Jeez. You, you, see, you saying that because you like KD and you don't want you don't nope, want to put Kevin nope, Durant in nope. the blender. I may, I may explain the reason why. Let me explain. So, Watching that OKC team, I watched it from its inception, 2008 onward, right? Mm-hmm. And to the to the untrained, to the naked eye, somebody who didn't watch the team consistently, you would say that, sure, they, they built that team around KD, which is cool. You ended up with Russell Westbrook, James Harden, Ibaka, Cephalosha, Nick Collison. They groomed Steven Adams, yada, yada, yada. Cool, right? What a lot of people fail to understand is that Towards the end, after that Miami series where they lost the championship, the the team was getting shifted to more of a Russell Westbrook led team than a Kevin Durant led team, right? So Kevin Durant was was getting taken out of. He was supposed to be the number one guy, hundred percent, right? The reason why I see this fair game is we we as the fans are the ones that label these players as generational talents we give them these labels as all-stars superstars the guy this that and the third yada 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 they just go play right we always say that there's no championship one without help right so you have a guy or two and you have role players right mm-hmm. you look at the warriors when kd joined them right you take clay and put him anywhere else he's not the number one guy you take draymond he's not the number one guy right Steph would probably be the only number one guy. I agree. Uh, maybe, with, maybe Iggy if he was in his prime, but I, I'm with you. Maybe, right? So you got KD and Steph, right? That's your one-two punch. Jordan had Pippen, one-two punch, right? Mm-hmm. Shaq and Kobe, one-two punch. Mm-hmm. So all these one-two punches, that's fine. A lot of people see it as a cheap move because, yeah, he just lost 3-1. Uh, he just blew the 3-1 lead or whatever, yada, yada. They were 73-9 and the year before whatever, whatever, whatever. But a lot of people just gloss over the fact that a lot the league was built off of one-two punches, Malone and Stockton, right? 
Um, like yeah, so but so I, I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't think we were counting Clay. I, we, I think we, we were counting Clay. We weren't. Well, well, hold on, hold on. Let, let hold me just on. say this. I don't think Clay is a superstar, no. right? So my no. definition of a super team is three superstars in their prime. So when you really look at the Warriors, they only had two superstars in their prime. I don't think Clay is that. However, Clay was in his prime. He was very close. He was definitely an all star, a perennial, a perennial all star. Excellent. I. You know, just just by how well Golden State was constructed and That's and, what I was about to say. and the threat that uh, that Clay was from three, I don't know if he could be a number one, but I would make an exception to call him a one A. Yeah, yeah, I, I would make an exception, just, just, just the same exception I made for Ray Allen because he was that much of a weapon. So I would count those three guys, Steph, Clay, and KD, as a super team, just like I would count. Uh, Ray Allen, Paul Pierce, and KG as a super team. Well, it just it it, it, it wasn't just, and I I, to your point, it wasn't just Clay. It was Clay combined with uh Iggy, combined with Draymond, combined with you you know the whole squad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, Perfectly constructed. It was perfectly constructed, which made Clay that much more of a weapon. But uh, to speak on the original question, is that fair or foul? Uh, I'm gonna say it's fair. I'm gonna okay. say it's fair. Okay. And I, I for also, both of them, the Miami and Golden State. Yeah, and anybody else who want to do it. Uh, Sheesh. Listen, I live by the, my mantra in any uh, competitive event: is if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you do say it's cheating, then? Nah, listen. If if the rules of the of the salary cap and the the luxury tax allows you to afford these guys. Then do it. This is a good comment. That is a good comment, right? He said KD was bought to Golden State for uh, insurance purposes against the refs and Adam Silver. Remember, I always say you can rig a game through the officiating, but if the team just don't miss shots, there's nothing the league can do. I could, you know what? I could see that because that team was well constructed to the like when they got KD. Like if KD had an off night, Steph and Clay was going off. Yeah, if you Steph had an off night. Clay and KD was going off. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Somebody was going. To, it was a rare occasion when none of them was hitting. And if none of them was hitting, that means they probably wasn't in the game at all. They probably was resting. Yeah, it was so tough. I, I, it was I tough. could, I could see that. I could it see was, that. It was literally that that team as constructed, which minus KD, was already really solid from top to bottom. Like, yeah, and and they played off of each other. Steph, of course, we know. Uh, where his perimeter defense was lacking, that's where Clay would step in. They both could shoot. You had Iggy, who was, you know, a, always been a defender, always been an athletic defender. Then you had Draymond, who was like the glue guy. He was the Udonis Haslam for the Heat, for but instead for the Warriors. You know, he wasn't a guy that that, that needed to produce a whole bunch. Um, and then they interchanged bigs. Every year, Bogut was on a, 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 a team with them, and then you had David. Remember when David Lee and David West were there? Like yeah. they were able to cycle in those players over and over again. And when they did that, you know, it they showed, hey, as constructed, as long as we got a guy who can produce at those big uh spots, then our guard play can carry the scoring load. Just make sure they can defend a little bit. And when they brought KD in, it was nearly inst- unstoppable because now. There is nothing that you could possibly do. There's no scheme for that. You get what I'm saying? There's not a there's not a defensive yeah. scheme that could stop a, a, a shooter like Clay, a shooter like Curry, and then a score like KD. There's nothing that you there's nothing that you could have did. And there's there's a bit of strategy strategy strategy. Wow, shit. There's a bit of strategy to it as well because more so of it just thinking like, man, if we add KD, then our scoring. Is gonna take off, and you know we'll just blow teams out the water, whatever, 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 right? They went and got probably one of only a handful, if not one of the only people that LeBron could not match up against, knowing that probably LeBron was gonna run the East again, mm-hmm. meet him in the finals with a healthy Cavaliers team, and now he got to face KD, and you got to face KD, and we've seen it in both series. Oh, How man. many times did LeBron switch off? And let uh Della Dova guard KD, or you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> and that's 
this time it didn't matter who was guarding KD. He was coming down, hitting threes in LeBron face, Della Dope. Like it didn't matter who it was at that time. So yeah. it was a strategy, it was a strategy I, aspect too. Like, you know, insurance yeah, policy for, sure. for like, yeah, we're gonna beat the refs this way, but also like because we know we're probably gonna end up having to see LeBron because he's running through the east, you know, whatever. We're gonna have to see him again and again. Like at that time, I, I feel like that might have been prime KD was Golden State. Like he was at the beginning of his prime in OKC, but Golden State was just like that that would do was a 99 overall. Yeah, he was cold. And Kevin that's why Durant, he just played Oklahoma. He, 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 I agree with you. I agree with you. He should he should, but he he was he was taking a shortcut because I he had he had to show he he felt that I've really arrived. I'm the best player in the league, but no one is noticing it. And he was like, man, I just I just need to meet LeBron on the biggest stage. And the quickest way for me to get there is you can go to Jordan Golden State and let, let me and LeBron go head to head in the finals so everybody can see. And that's why he wasn't satisfied after the finals, after he won and then got MVP and outperformed everybody. And they still didn't give him his flowers. And he was like, man, I didn't get the same uh, satisfaction from uh, – from this championship like I thought I was. But that, that's that, that's because he, he really wanted to be the number one player in the world. He did. And he now he's not worried about it. He all, I remember KD saying, even coming out of high school, he was the number two behind Greg Oden. And then when he got to the league, LeBron was there. He was yeah. always considered behind LeBron. He wanted that number one spot. And I think that, that Mel made a great point saying that that's exactly why he went to, uh, you know, Golden State, even though – they garnished the, you know, they they blew a, a three one lead to those same guys. Um, do you think that the, the satisfaction would have came uh, had he won in Brooklyn after he left Golden State? That's a question. I for think everybody. I think it would have. You think I think so? it would have. Yeah, hey, we got we got on the line. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Question. Bro, can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, peace, 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 peace. peace. What's up, brother? Squad, What's going on, man? Peace the man down sports, man. Appreciate everybody on the panel, man. Um, what's what's that? What's going on, fellas? I see y'all got the super team conversation going on. Um, look to that point right there with KD, man. That was a weak move, you know, regardless of how we look at it. That was a weak move. They they I went to a finals already, and then you know what I'm saying they'd have kept the team together, probably got one more other piece. They would have went back to the finals. But him joining with Golden State was weak. How many games did Golden State win the year prior to him joining the team? Like 73. Like 73, 73. 73 but, but none of that matters if you don't get a ring from it. I mean, yeah, hey, man, but the potential is already there, bro. The potential is already there. So that's like him joining a team that's already uh, um, a championship contender. You know what I'm saying? They had their own thing going on. This, despite whatever problems him and Russell Westbrook had, they should have worked that out. Now, look, Clay Thompson is a five-time All-Star. You know what I'm saying? He went to the All-Star um, game five times. So, like, you know, the conversation is saying that at one point in time, well, I guess when he in his, was in his prime, he can definitely be a, um, a star of a team. A number one on a successful are, team? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I, so so you so you would count him as a superstar. Let me so let me ask let me ask you um how you feel about uh if you say Kevin Durant's move to Golden State was weak, how do you feel about uh Wade, Bosch, and LeBron joining the Big Three in Miami? Do you do, do you feel it's similar? That shit was weak too. Oh my God, that was man. That listen, that was even weak weaker. <laughs> look, let's check it out. Look, 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 look. Check this out. Can I say one thing real quick? Right, look, I got a yeah. bowl of tickets to Mad Down Sports. <laughs> I gotta, you my brother, you my brother. Now it's just a friendly, um, you know, kind of NBA conversation. You said a couple of weeks ago that Jalen Brown wouldn't be a starter on any other team, bro. I think no, 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 not star. Up. No, not star. I, 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 I said he wouldn't be a, 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 a wouldn't number, be number one, one leading a successful uh, playoff team. Nah, yes, he would. Yes, he would. You think so? He, that's, he I mean, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Who who who, who is sim, who's similar to Jalen Brown's skill set that's leading the team as a number one? All right, but look, let me let me just make let me just um counter that right. He holds the Celtics together because um Tatum always be having these collapses. Even in that series against um Golden State, he was the only one who was consistent. Well, you, that, the, that, if you go, that could be true, but. 
I watched I watched that whole entire playoff series, and I seen the first round when they played Brooklyn. I seen how they officiated against Kevin Durant, where you could tell the NBA was uh, pro Boston, and that, and Tatum and Brown was getting all the calls. They got all the leeway to be physical with Kevin Durant and Kyrie, and then it reversed when well, they got the to the NBA finals. When they got to the finals, it reversed, and they didn't get those calls no more. Steph was getting them. All right, so the NBA fixed it. Oh, it's conspiracy theory, man. I know. Yeah, the, no, no, the, nah, the, nah. the NBA is hundred percent. The NBA is hundred percent. Uh, nah, I ain't gonna say hundred percent fixed, but they fix certain games at certain times. It's it's a lot of manipulation in the NBA you. for sure. Listen, Jalen Brown. I'm gonna say this before you say this. Before you before you go on to your next point, I'm gonna let you speak. Jalen Brown don't have a left hand. That is basically <laughs> basketball. Listen, I fo- I'm, from, I'm from the state of Georgia. I, I, I followed Jalen Brown his whole career. He went to Pebble Brook. Of course, he went to West Coast to play college ball. He is a absolute number two, and he's great at it. That's why he's able to uphold that team when Tatum has these lapses. He's, 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 he's When the pressure's on you, ask Tyrese Maxey when Jason Tatum is out uh, or, or when your main star is out what it's like to be that sole focus number one in the team schemes for you. They scheme for Jason Tatum. They don't scheme for Jalen so Brown. You don't think he can average. So you don't, you don't, honestly, let's, let's sit here, let's sit here and find it, right? If he didn't have Tatum, right, you don't think he can average 30 points a game? No. I don't know about, I don't know about 30. 30. Maybe, 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 maybe 24. Right, how much is he averaging right now? I'm a, how much is he averaging right now? I don't I'll look I'm, it up. I'm, Keep talking. I'll look it up. Keep talking. Know, I'm, looking, I'm looking it up right now. I'm looking it up right now. Over 23. Yes. I like over 22 or 23. So now look, look. Now, so check it out. Okay. So now we take Tatum out the equation. We take okay. Tatum out the equation. He's going to get at least 10 more touches a game. Mm-hmm. So you don't think he can average 30 points a game? Really? Yeah, but he, he go, listen, but he go get, he go get at least 20 more double teams. Exactly. With, a game as well. Exactly. What's going to happen and is, two, is three. When, you, when you become the focal point of the offense, it, it changes, changes everything. everything. It changes, it changes everything. everything. Like, okay, now we don't have to worry about Jason Tatum. When teams are looking at scouting reports, they're saying, all right, who is the number one threat on the Boston Celtics? Draymond Green, as much as I don't like his Shrek from Donkey looking self, he said the other day, <laughs> hey, uh, 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 Jason, we're not accounting for Jalen Brown getting hot from three. That's when they blew him out in three quarters and they had the starter sitting on the bench. You're not accounting for that. You, we saying, okay, we're going to do whatever, whatever we can to stop Jason Tatum. Granted, J- Jalen Brown does a great job at picking up the team in the event that Jason Tatum's offense is not working. But once you become that primary guy, once you become the... the but he's the, doing it. He's doing it right there, though. But look, hold, to your point right there, listen, oh, listen, mm-hmm. listen to what you get said. Okay. When they shut Tatum down. Now, mm-hmm. once they shut Tatum down, hold up. Once he get hot, the defense is going to sit and apply pressure to him. It's impossible for them not to account for him out there getting hot, and he can win the game himself too. So Listen. we got to think think about what you can say. But but Tatum's still on the roster. Like, he's still there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they know he's like, yeah. man. Tatum looked at terrible in that series, brother. He yeah, but it was it was the, it was, was it was he good was, reason. There was there was they was playing prison ball and they was allowing it because I, that was Steph's it was Steph's year to do his thing. They they I played prison too, ball. Right. Them. But, but look, this is this this, this this I say this I say this and I I got a question for you. But it's a um some of the games where people say that Tatum disappears. It's not that someone's mm-hmm. shutting him down and he's disappearing. It's a it's a beautiful song and you know like a, it's a beautiful uh. Two 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 way dance that Brown and Tatum do where they, where they take turns, mm-hmm. you know, uh, to keep everybody happy, right? You know what I'm saying. So sometimes Brown will take the lead, like in that Denver game, Tatum Tatum only had like 15, but Brown had almost 40. He let you, you know what I'm saying. See, that's what, but that's what I'm. But now listen, check now check this out. Scotty Pippen couldn't do that. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't, he didn't. He didn't have to because Mike was a machine. He, was, he, he couldn't he, do it. He Mike, couldn't Mike, do it. Mike, look, this this the thing with with the bull, with the Bulls and Scottie Pippen. If Mike shot wasn't falling, they made up for it on defense, mm-hmm. and and they figured something out. But and then by the fourth quarter, Michael Michael make a couple of big shots, whether he was hot or not. But they go play some defense. Oh. They, that's that's the thing that's missing we, from this, yeah, uh, this league. Ain't nobody ain't nobody thing. making up for it on defense. Let me ask you this question though, Jalen Brown. Yeah. 
Oh, let me just say one you, thing you, to that you, point you, right you, there. You think Jalen Brown is on uh you think Jalen Brown is a hundred percent better than OJ Mayo and Tyreek Evans? Hell yeah. Yeah. You think so? Okay. Yeah. He's better. Look, look, he's better. Look, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna run some players down right now. We can run that. Some sidekicks right now, right? And some star. He's he's definitely better than um Butler. He's definitely better than Butler. Jimmy Butler. Ooh, Butler, Butler's the number one, better. though. That's tough. Brother, he's better than Butler, man. He's the number one, definitely though. better than Butler. Hey, that's a good that's a good comparison, though. I ain't gonna go lie to you. That's I, a good ain't mad, I ain't mad at that. I, 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 I think Brown. I don't I agree, but Brown, I'm not mad at it. Yeah, I think do you Brown, know. Do you know why Jalen Brown looks better than Jimmy Butler, though? Because he don't have a a, a game plan against. Because he got tape. Because he Thank got tape. You. On his exactly. Side. You, Jimmy yeah, Butler is part of the game plan. Jalen Brown is not. Fellas, fellas, let's sit here and think as a coach, right? And let's do the scouting report, right? Let's let's sit here reasonable as sports. We all watch sports, and let's do the scouting report. I am okay. not. If me as a coach, I am going to apply equal pressure onto Brown. I am not going to forget that Brown out there. See, I'm we gonna, say, I'm gonna, we say, say this. Hold on, hold on. What's your name again, bro? A one. A one. You got save I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this, bro. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say this. With Browns, uh, I think Browns a little taller than uh, Butler, and I think Browns three point range is uh, is better than Butler's, and he's, he's younger and yeah, he's stronger. Bad. With that being said, I would love to see what Brown would look like as a Miami Heat. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think he's fit. I think he's fit for Miami. I think he would be. I, I'm glad you brought that up. That's a good comparison to say him and Jimmy Butler. It's a. It's a. It's definitely a conversation for sure. But what Butler got in his freaking heart? Uh, it ain't. On, it ain't yeah. on Boston squad nowhere. And I haven't. And not seen to mention. It. Not to mention. This is just regular season Butler. We forget. It's a whole different Butler. Hey one, hey one. I got somebody on the, uh, somebody else on the line. You can hold, uh, but let me let me get to this caller from Philly. Caller from Philadelphia. What's All up? Right, can you hear me? Hey, yo guys, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Can you yeah, hear us? Good? Hey, how y'all doing, man? Man, we good. What's your thought? I just want to start off with saying y'all got one of the best best basketball shows, man. I appreciate y'all. I'm a, I'm a truck driver, so I listen to y'all a lot when I'm driving. No doubt, man. But, Thanks, um, bro. Appreciate the love. Yeah, anytime. Stay anytime. safe on the roads. But too, on, this, on the subject of the on the super teams, I don't like either one of them, KD or LeBron. Mm-hmm. But to me, I feel like LeBron is a little worse, not by much, but a little worse because I think he set the precedent. That's and fair. So I don't think if LeBron hadn't set the precedent of forming a super team, I don't think that KD would have done it. I agree. And I think that if I forget which one of you guys were. I think, Mel, you had said it just a couple of minutes ago. I think the Warriors got KD, not because of purely basketball reasons, but mm-hmm. I think they saw how that finals tra- uh, transpired in 2016. Mm-hmm. And they said, if we're going to beat this team ever again, we're going to have to make sure that we have our deck, our deck stacked enough to compete with not only LeBron and, and that team, but also the NBA. So, it, and, and, and that's, that's the way I look at and it. And that's a good point. Wasn't that the series where uh, Aisha Curry tweeted and went off on the NBA and said it was yes. rigged and all that stuff? It, yes. It, exactly. A, exactly. And I forget which podcast it was, but Ty Lu went on, I think it was um, All the Smoke or one of those podcasts, and he literally said their game plan for Steph was to just grab him, foul him, and do as much as they can to get away with that right. and just dare the rest to, to call the whistle. Yeah. And you could tell by, you know, you look, you look at video of Steph's arms, he got scratches all over him, you know, he's bleeding, all this stuff. And so, like, that was literally their game plan. And I think the Warriors said, hey, look, if we're actually going to beat this team ever again, we need to have our decks back. Yeah, and like you point. said, right, people, I always talk about this with my boys. When it comes to the NBA, and I tell them that the NBA is rigged to some degree. They say, oh, man, that's conspiracy theory. And I say, look, man, if if the NBA wants a certain team to win, they're just going to referee that in that team's favor. It's, it's but it. if a team gets hot, there's nothing, to, there's nothing the NBA can do about that. Correct. Exactly. Because then yeah. it'll be too blatant. Oh, it'll be too blatant. It'd be too blatant, right? So, like, if I'm if I'm playing you and the refs are calling all the fives for you, but I go ten for ten, there's nothing they can do about it. Exactly. 
Exactly. So I think that was the Warriors' reason for being like, okay, we got to get KD, or we're okay at least with having KD on our team. Because back in the day, 90s, early 2000s, that was part of the aura of a player like Kobe, right? He won three with Shaq. He went through some downturns, and everybody respected him even more because he took that dip. He came from the bottom and brought the team back up. Yeah. But nowadays, the NBA doesn't want that. They, you know, they're looking for just to have one person up on, you know, up on the pedestal, and that's all they want. They don't want to look at the, I guess, the long game. You know what I mean? Yeah, so for sure. That's the way I look at it. Thanks, bro. I appreciate the call, man. That's a good call. Appreciate y'all, man. Yeah, yep, for sure. Time. Yep. Have a good night, y'all. Yep. Yep. And I want to address this comment that's on the screen. No, so you don't. You don't need a, a super team. I mean, the the perfect example I, I like to use is the 04 Pistons. Of course, to me, that's just that's that's a team full of role players. <laughs> that's a team full of role players, and they four won a Kobe Lakers team, right? There was there was no that's that is not a super team by any stretch of the mean, right? They just were well put together. They were well coached, and they got everything that they needed, right? Denver last year. Not a super team. I'll, I'll agree to that, right? It's just a well put together team built around their number one. They had their number two healthy, which was Jokic, and then a, a, a bunch of role players who did their job. That was just one of the well put, one of the the better well put together teams we've seen recently. However, comma, they did go against Miami. Now that's not a, a slight to Miami. It was a sacrificial but... lamb. <laughs> <laughs> Miami, <laughs> Miami wasn't. You know, great, great, great call. Sacrificial <laughs> lamb. That's exactly what you were. <laughs> Miami hey, was. Uh, go ahead. Oh, my, oh. Go ahead, Jay. Now, I still got A1 on the line, and I got another color, too. Okay. okay. All right. Um, Tired of fools. Anybody who is not biased saw the first time we heard Big Three Super Team was Boston. I don't think anybody is discrediting, discrediting that. I think that, that that's when we heard Big Three for the first time. Um, They got one title out of that. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? They got one title out of that. And then sooner or later they went to uh or at least KG uh and um Paul Pierce went to Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Um and Ray Allen went to Miami. Yeah. <laughs> With that other but big three that we're talking about. A lot of people for uh, I mean, I understand, yes, it's considered a big three, and it was yeah. it was well constructed, it was well put together. But mm -hmm. also you gotta understand that. That team, part of that big three, was on the back nine of their career. Oh yeah, yeah they, they they were still in their prime. So I I call them a super team. Yeah, the first first super team in our in our in our era. But um, but they only had a, a three year window, and that yes. window that 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 window got even um smaller when or well, that window closed when KG uh injured, injured his knee because that, that took that that took KG out of his prime. So now you don't have a super team anymore. You got two superstars. And one not in his prime anymore. Exactly. So, Especially when mm -hmm. you think about what KG was to those Boston teams. He was the communicator on defense. He was that back line of defense. And he could still score the basketball. Like, he was the difference. He 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 was the difference. And once he got hurt, they weren't a big three no more. It was, it yeah. was two good players. It was two superstars and a really good player. But at that time, you got to think about what was going on. That's when Bosch went to MIA. That's when <laughs> everybody yeah. else went to, to Miami. So... At the end of the day, only reason he said, oh, "Hold on." Only reason Boston lost to LA was Boston lost big. Eh. Hey, caller, what you think, man? I'm I'm not even. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Okay, go ahead. Um, whoever the caller is. Yeah, hey, we're gonna go with that. Your new caller, Jay, and then I got one, I got one caller from Cali, and, and then we'll finish with uh a one and move to the next topic. All right, all right, all right. All right I was listen. What's going on, bro? Go ahead, Jay. Go ahead with the color you got. Hey, color, you there? Nah, this A one. I'm still on the um, line. Hey, oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's somebody else on there too. Oh no, nah, I I, I'm the only person. All right, well, let me get this color from Cali. Hey, bro, uh, brother from Cali, Cali, go ahead. Oh, no, I, I, I was just talking about that. Well, on the, the on, even on, on the super team, you know, subject. Yeah, I. As, as much as we don't like, you know, the the the, the KD and the and you know the team that we were with the Warriors, 
when, you know, the 2016 finals, you know, I was, uh, I started to like, you know, Curry at the end, like at the beginning of like 2014, when I saw him like exploding, you know, from the three, like and everybody, like I, I was, I was, you know, I was, you know, Tim great at that, uh, no, Tim great at that time, but like, Going up on like how how they won against like you know the Cavaliers in 2015 and then 2016 they went back up with the 79 with the you know with the greatest record but they didn't win a tip and I I know I get that it don't mean nothing without you know if it doesn't have, you know they don't win a tip but when you look at that finals and you know I hear people say oh well you know that I was like the greatest choke you know they choked and everything but then. Like I, like you guys were talking about on the last caller, it was kind of a, like how I looked at it. And when I watched those games, it was like a rigged, you know, it, it was a rigged ass, you know, NBA final. Because number one, you got very minded best players taken out in game five, which they could have ended it then. And then you got game six where they were calling bullets to thousand on Curry in game six. And about that time, if you know basketball, that drives the whole team, you know, like energy off. It's like damn. It's like well, what's the hold on? Our court, well, one of our best, our best defender is off the court. Then on top of that, our greatest player just uh, saw just fouled the fuck out, and they won. It's like damn. And then, on, on, game, on, on game seven, it's like it's like it's like all, that whole momentum just drove to just, just drove you know to it's like the Cavaliers winning. But then, but that's what I was saying. Like on the last last year playoffs when the Warriors was going against the Lakers. You've seen that same thing there to where, like, they pressure on Curry. They're playing Curry, you know, hard as shit. But then on top of that, you got so you got LeBron's team getting all the damn foul calls. And it's like, damn, it's like it's, a, it's not a coincidence that every time LeBron goes against the Warriors, they got to either they, – they got to physically – they, they got to phys- physically beat up Curry. And then on top of that, the ref got to be on their side every time. Yeah. So and it's it, like hmm? – Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. But I was like, I was like, I was like, so it's like at to that point when Katie's went and joined the Warriors, it was like, it was like, okay, they gave that team a good matchup because literally in the 2015 uh, finals when the Warriors beat the uh, when the Warriors beat the Cavaliers, no, nah, on the greatest pair on the Cavaliers, yeah, and then you had Cougar. You got Curry, which made it two even teams because they had one one superstar on each team. And you got you know the, the good core the, players. To be honest, to be honest with you, the way I saw that 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 matchup is, I think they wasn't even until Kevin Durant arrived because I don't I don't think I don't, I don't think uh, Curry is on LeBron's level. I think Kyrie Irving and Curry was on the same level. LeBron didn't have sure. an equal uh, to match him there, right? So it was it was basically Curry and uh, and and uh, and Kyrie. And then you got Love and um, Clay. and uh, and Clay, and then you got uh, Draymond and J.R. Smith, right? So those right. Th- that's how that matched up. Iguodala coming off the bench, I mean that he could try to offset some of that, but for for the most part, LeBron didn't have an equal until KD showed up, and that's what made it even, right? So that that's my but opinion then, on it. Yeah, but then also like that Finals MVP on the 2015. That was, I feel like that was kind of bullshit because. I mean, they gave it to, you know, Eagle Dollar because they say, you know, he locked down, you know, uh, LeBron James or whatever. But when I look at the stat sheet, um, he didn't really lock LeBron down. The first game, he scored 40. The second game, he scored 20. The other game, he scored 29. And then the other game, he scored 44. It was like, hold on. I mean, you didn't really, I mean, you, I mean, what else can LeBron do? Score 60? Nah, I mean, nah, nah. They, they, really they, didn't, they didn't, they didn't give, they didn't give him down like that. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't get it. They didn't give him the MVP for or locking him down. No, nope. thirty points. Ain't nobody locked LeBron that, down since uh, Jason Terry and, and Tyson Chandler did it. Yeah, nobody but, locked LeBron down. Yeah, yeah. Eagle Dollar didn't lock him down. He he executed a game plan that was necessary uh, for, the, for them. the series. A, a, exactly. That, and that's what that was. But hey, bro, I appreciate I appreciate the call, man. I got uh We got to get to these other ones so we can get uh, through these other topics, man. Thanks for the call. Got you. All right, man. Love you. Thank right. you, man. Yep. He definitely from the Bay. <laughs> yeah, yeah from the yay area. Hey, one, go ahead and uh, close out your uh, comment that you was making, bro. All right, we got three other super teams before um the Miami super team and the Golden State super team. We got, I think that's the 87, 85 to 87 Boston Celtics. We got the Houston Rockets with Barkley, Clive Drexler, and Scotty Pippen teamed up. I, I'm gonna say I no on that one. 
I'm gonna say no on that one. Nah, you know, I mean, but they all was all stars. So yeah, like, nah, all, all stars. Are, all, I, think, I, yeah. I think you're just I, pulling I, together a super team based off of each individual's accolades, and I don't think that's that's a but fair. That's what we all. I mean, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. The the, the key word, the key word in super team is super. So we don't count all stars. We count superstars, and we count superstars okay. that are in their prime. And Hakeem wasn't in his prime. Barkley wasn't in his prime, and Pippen Not wasn't in his either. prime. He wasn't either. Yeah, he said they oh, didn't have a time uh, superstar. I, I see what you said. So no, I don't know. Okay, I see what you said. It's a thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There, right, yeah. I got one more point before I slide up out of here. All right, make it real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so look, if we would just take Jordan at 39 years old and put him on that Lakers team, do you think it would be a better thing? Hey, you actually leading us to our next topic, man. We that ain't going to answer it now because we that that, that, that's that's on our next topic, man. So so stick around for that. All right, no doubt. All right, bro. You, bro. All right, last call. Call it from South Carolina. You got you got you got thirty seconds. Go ahead. All right, I'm gonna say this, man. The call before that, I totally agree with everything you said about the Warriors and uh, how that finals where Cleveland came back and won. Um, I think I know. I heard you guys say that it was. Um, Warriors wasn't on Cleveland's level, but they were playing. They were playing team ball to the point where they was about to run the Cleveland Cavaliers out of that series with a gentleman sweep. And I think if those outside factors don't uh, come in, I think the Warriors don't even go recruit Durant. If the Warriors win that final, I don't think they go recruit Durant. I think the reason they went and recruited Durant was to get back at the NBA like, okay, if you're going to do this to us, we're going to make it unfair for the whole entire league. I and agree. that's exactly what they did. I agree. And I'm, and I'm out. I agree. Great which call. which thanks, bro. But which is which is weird, uh, which is weird because the NBA helped them get past the Thunder with, when they was down 3-1. Right. Exactly. So so it's very it's very weird. And then if they if they, they would have won. If they would have won that finals and KD didn't join the Warriors, he was still leaving OKC. So where was he gonna go? Houston with with Harden? No, nah. interesting, right? Uh, I don't. I, I mean, look now when you start when you start playing that game of what if it gets real tricky. Like, but I do agree that they do, if they do go back to back, they don't go get KD. No, they don't no. go get KD. No, because what, what do you need them for? Yeah, exactly. What do you need them for? And I do think that the Warriors winning got KD. Because they know how it works. They just came back from 3-1 against OKC. <laughs> then LeBron do, does what they do. And they're like, wait a minute. We got to have something to trump this. Because they, mm -hmm. I'm sure, just like every other team, they went back and looked at the film. They went yeah. back and looked at the film and said, hey, we were held here. We, you know, it, it, it was some, 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 some rough defense being played right here. And we didn't get those calls. They did. Okay, let's get something that can trump all of that. So at the end, of, they knew exactly what they were doing. Shout out to Bob yeah. Myers. Because he definitely has something to do with them knowing exactly what they needed to do in order to get over that hump. And once they did, then, you know, once they got KD, we, the rest is history. But I don't think I, I keep seeing. Let's see. You know, I'm not even going to entertain money, but go ahead. Boston was traded hit for the asset <laughs> <laughs> who signed the free agency there. Exactly. No, no one appreciate the super chat. James Brick. That's what I'm going to say. Hey, hey, but uh, not not only shout out to Bob Myers, though, though, shout out to BJ Armstrong, who was uh I know you heard the story of Draymond Green. BJ Armstrong was his agent. And mm -hmm. when he signed his when he signed his deal, he said, Hey, take this much money, uh, because if you do that, y'all gonna have room for another uh max player mm -hmm. uh uh two summers from now. And guess who and guess who's uh coming available that year? He said K K D. So he so BJ Armstrong saw it two years in advance, man. So that's that's that shout out to him. So he went from so he went from being uh the best three point shooter in the league, money ball, uh, <laughs> the best agent. <laughs> hey, money ball, where you come from, bro? Where you? Where you? Come I don't from? know, man. Uh, who your people is? Is it I like, don't know. I ain't gonna say their names, but I think I know who it is. But shout out yeah. to you, money ball. We appreciate the view. Uh, 